Welcome to Las Vegas. It is time for the BGT kickoff, event number two, final table, coming at you. We are at the Book Road Studio yet again. My name is Rem Corinca, my Donnie Peters alongside me. It is again a 5K No Limit Hold final table, and we got a really exciting final table for you as this man, Mr. David Coleman, looks to go back to back. All right, welcome back inside the Triangle Room here. If you are watching us on YouTube or Twitch, please let us know how you're doing, what you're enjoying. Perhaps let us know what side you're on because we got lots of NFL playoffs happening today as well. Uh, Ser Sergey Kislinski is our chip leader with 2.6 million. PLO specialist Dylan Wiseman, 2.5 million. And there you see the remainder of the names at this table. We'll cover all these players in depth as we are with you until a winner is crowned. 18K guaranteed for the final seven, 121,500 for the eventual winners. We had 90 entries, 13 places got paid. We had one more player then in event number one, so things are looking good for the PGT kickoff. And uh, event number three kicks off right now as well inside the studio. So if you have $5,000 burning a hole in your pocket, then head on over to the Pocago studio here in Las Vegas to get into the mix. Donnie, the storyline today will be all about David Coleman, who said it yesterday that he's running hotter than ever and I guess he gets a chance to prove his own theory today at the final table. Yeah, he ran pretty hot today yesterday's gold final gold table. Gold Going oh, okay. back to November, Coleman has cashed more than $670,000 for six-figure scores within that span. Yesterday's $100,000 win, of course, it's among those scores. But you said nine Good boost to his PGT campaign here in 2024 is all these points are worth double. <laughs> Victoria Lifshitz is our short stack at the How final the table. The, uh, 16 bigs, so still time. some Sorry, chips to play with here. Hey, she finds King Queen Offset on the very first hand. Great. Victoria, a regular <coughs> here inside the studio Eight. as of you know last year or two, co-founder of Octopi Poker alongside Andrew Lucky Chewy Lichtenberger. Weisman here finds an ace, Jack of Hearts. <clears throat> Three bets to 210. 210 is the raise of everyone. quickly and gives it up, and Wiseman takes that one down. Weisman said on Twitter earlier today that you guys can tune in to watch Ace. him try and figure out two card ICM on the fly. By the way, uh, Jeremy Becker, not a household name at these stakes, Donnie, but today could be a, a breakout performance for him because this guy has the most nice. insane poker resume to date. And I know that at some point, that will change so we got to sort of cherish this moment because he has the most absurd results listen to this L listen up this is insane here's a, here he is the guy with the small axe hat his largest tournament score is forty eight thousand dollars yet he has 1.2 million in career earnings he might very well be the best player at the buy-in level up to a thousand dollars Maybe, maybe the one with yeah, the best results, that's for think. sure. Brain dumb. Started to dip his toes in into some of the Poker Go Tour events towards the end of Very last absolutely. season. Had a couple caches, but nothing too major. But here he is at the final table, second event of this PGT season. So, see if he can make a name for himself on the Poker Go Tour. So, it's always good to. Have a new breakout face. Absolutely, and of course, the, you know, the, if you want to call them the stars at this final table, and I know many people tune in to watch, you know, the best of the best or the most well-known players. Uh, look uh, for Jesse Lonis yeah. and Dylan Weisman. Those are the players you? with the uh, biggest Same. poker resumes. Uh, Jesse Lonis had a, a breakout performance at uh, last year's WSOP, but has been on the tour for many, many years prior to that massive score for $2.3 million when he won the 50K PLO high roller. Still insane that an Omaha event paid out $2.3 million, so <laughs> got to tip our cap to Jesse Lonis. Uh, but yeah, he's also been uh, a regular inside our studio, has had many results over the years, uh, but that score last summer was for sure 
uh, the breakout for the general public. He's now up to $6.3 in career tournament earnings. Um, picking up the action here as Coleman called from the small blind for 60K with King-Queen offsuit playing against Matthew McEwen, our pre-flop pre raiser. Ace-5-10 on the flop, two quick checks, five on the turn. 120. 120. Guess McEwen getting what he wants, some value out of the weaker hand of his opponent. Ten seconds. Playing a coy, coming along here. Thank you. Donnie, is this a matter of perhaps being a little concerned about A6, or is it just happy to call down because that's where the value is? Kind of a blend of both. I mean, your A6 isn't exactly amazing. That said, it, you know, it's good enough to probably get two streets of value. You don't necessarily have to be the one betting to get that value. I think it's fine to just check back turn, or sorry, check back flop, call, call, if that's what Coleman does. Sure. McEwen, no stranger to PGT final tables. Check and check behind here, as his A6 is going to okay. award him the pot here. Uh, March 2023, so almost a year ago, event number one of the U.S. Poker Open. McEwen finished fourth for $99,000. So okay, this is his second time at a PGT final table. 34 years old, from San Francisco, California. Finished fourth, Donnie, in the 2023 World Poker Tour Championship Mystery Bounty for $192,000. That is his largest mm -hmm. score to date. Mm -hmm. If you're with us in the chat, let us know who you're rooting for. Don't forget to smash that like button, by the way. Let's see if we can get up to uh, 500 likes on today's video. Uh, also, Donnie, I know you're a massive football fan. Uh, I, I saw the one game already got post postponed because of the weather. Um, first game, though, who you got? I guess the Browns. Did you put? Did you bet on it? Not that game. So you're just avoiding it completely. Yeah, I mean, I actually have a weird future with the Lions beating the Browns in the Super Bowl. Like that exact yeah. matchup. Yeah. What does that? Pay? How how much does that pay out? Like, uh, what's what's the odds on that? Three hundred to one. Wow. And when did you bet that? A couple of weeks ago. Oh, so that's when you knew they were both headed for the playoffs. Yeah. It wasn't like a preseason. I mean, I think just both conferences are kind of wide open. I think the Detroit Lions are a very good football team. I think the Cleveland Browns aren't as good as the Lions, but I think the AFC is pretty open. I know Baltimore is up at the top, but I think they do have their flaws, and that defense for Cleveland can certainly show out. And if we get some uh, sun running from Mr. Joe Flacco, who has certainly sun run in the playoffs before, that's how he won his first Super Bowl, then why not, right? <laughs> Yeah, it'd be it'd be fun to uh, to see if you can keep that magic going from from this what like what are we calling it like a comeback year or maybe yeah. maybe this is like a one off off the couch year. off the couch year. But I also I really like the Texans. I like C.J. Stroud. I like their head coach. I like <coughs> Nico Collins. So like you know I'm a bit partial just to, to rooting for that young team. So I just kind of didn't want to bet on this game. It's a beautiful day to watch. Some poker action. Got your favorite sports on the side monitors. Growing up, for me, Donnie, like on the weekend, it was always 80. a matter of like what sports is on TV. You know, my dad and I would sit and watch, you know, one thing after the other. Of course, I did not grow up with the NFL or the NBA, but we had our own, our own things going on back in the Netherlands. And uh, I feel like if I had grown up with poker from a younger age, that would have been part of my rotation for sure. Coleman here raising it up. King five of diamonds. McEwen in the big blind. Thanks, contemplating perhaps defending with king seven. He's going to come along. Right. Kislinski, by the way, he was our chip leader to start at the final table. Also a player I'm not 
familiar with, so we're going to learn more about some new phases here as Sergei does have 113 live tournament results as we watch a slow hand here develop between McEwen and Coleman. Um, he's from Rostov on Don in Russia. Con considers himself a mid stakes cash game professional. I think he, he dabbles a lot around town, some of the kind of lower buy-in stuff. You know, Wayne Venetian, stuff like that. He's been playing live poker since 2007, so definitely not a new kid on the block. McEwen's seven good here, of course. Both players deliberate in their actions for now. 90. I have an idea. Up, right? McEwen with a better than 90,000 takes this one down. Lift shit's now below 10 big blinds. Or actually, blinds going up. So, yeah, she is below 10 big blinds. Blinds now 25k, 50k with a 50k big blind ante. Players not going on break, of course. We're just going to keep on rolling. <coughs> If you've missed last night's final table. It was a really fun final table. Aggressive heads-up match. Ultimately, Daniel Coleman coming out on top. Sorry, David Coleman. I keep wanting to call him Daniel Coleman because, of course, Dan Coleman is still <laughs> stuck in my head. Haven't seen him in forever. Every time I see him uh, post on social media, he's uh, skiing somewhere. I hope he's doing well. Yeah, he's Jesse Long is raising it up with ace four of diamonds. Weissman in the big blind. Two cards short of his uh, comfort zone, Donnie. Yeah, but I think he'll figure it out. Well, he's done well for himself so far. Coming into this final table, second in chips, and now has moved up to the top spot on the leaderboard. Weissman, mm. to me, especially when I watch him play PLO, always seems to know what to do. He's a very confident player. And of course, you know, part of the confidence is also what perhaps can lead to some intimidation with the opponents. Uh, but he seems so today. deliberate and so yeah. sure of himself. Make people serious. There's no, because yeah. we don't have Blesnik yeah, at our Blesnick. table. Blesnick. I mean, <laughs> he was he was gone by the end of the tournament, but it still was like more active at least. Mm -hmm. okay. That's normal. So that's the need. does that. Check, yeah. check here on the flop. Four queen, jack. Second flop on the turn in with the three popping up. <laughs> so, <laughs> something else, really. Yeah. The Can vast majority of Weissman's live tournament oh, results are Omaha. Uh, Funny yeah, thing much. to note. I mean, Between yeah. his first live tournament cash like back in 2016, all the way like until 3K. the start of 2020. <laughs> <Gave up. laughs> no he reported limit? roughly yes. 30 live oh, tournament no, results, only two no, of which no, no, it was, were no it was limit. Wiseman yeah. yeah. here ago. betting the turn, 75k, and takes this one down. <laughs> he couldn't stop justifying that poll yesterday. It was funny. <laughs> Apparently, he was right. Poll of the year. What was the spot? Even though. Yeah, so like <coughs> under the gun, uh, <laughs> min raise, oh. then next stack, 3 bet, like 2.4, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2 and, and uh, he has like like 5 big ones. It was one, 135 and he had like 160 or something. So he uh, was... He, nah, he had almost 200. No, he had like 165. Yeah? Oh, no, he, he, he was short though. So he was, he was about to have the big blind in like 3 hands too. Not pretty like old. Four, four, four. So he didn't yes. enter the pot. Well, one, two, one, two, no. three. Yeah, four, I think yeah, that's yeah. a definite fold. Yeah, yeah it's fold. Yeah. Who was saying it wasn't a fold? 
Just Mike. Give his reaction. Yeah. Garanio so says, very boring table, guys. Uh, Donnie, can you get some new players? Yeah, just let me uh, Probably, go out there. Just yeah, pull some people off the street. Say, hey, sorry, all seven of you guys. Uh, you got to get some new guys out. Disqualified. Uh, Dead Money Dragon asking, what's this? Well, this is the 2024 PGT kickoff, part of our season-long tournament leaderboard. The top 40 on the leaderboard at the end of the year are qualifiers for our I million dollar five. free roll, 500k for a prize. <laughs> so lots of points Rich. up for grabs here as we are offering double I points for hand, right? our kickoff series. It's hard to get a hand better. <coughs> We're streaming for yeah, five straight days. The best part was he went on four are going to be 5k buys. The, the final the event is going to be a 10k. Could think of on like on what they would do. Right. He paid him 100 bucks to see his hand. Yes. Yeah. He got to see the King Ton. But he texted Phil Helmuth. He texted. <laughs> he texted Negronia. <laughs> oh, those are the top five that he was. King Ten's pretty. <laughs> My favorite was Jeremy knowing exactly like when he offered the three to one bet. Jeremy goes, "You're texting Helmuth." Like he says it beforehand. Like he just instantly knew it was Helmuth. He's like, "It's a great player. He's gonna say full. We'll give you three to one." Jeremy snaps. That's his Helmuth. Gets it right. Victoria Lipschitz. Finds Ace 10 off and moves all in, and Jeremy Becker to her immediate left. And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows response, said, he's like, yeah, it's a 5K, I'd put it in. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way she knows. Yeah, I would, there's 0% Gino. Stone 0. It's a 5K. Shit and Negroni shopping. said it was an ICM fold, but you know, on the table. Negroni for I sure. I believe he's talking too. about yeah, Jared sure. Blesnick last I'm night. I'm not so sure he would have. Yeah, he would have. He, always more, he made a run in the tournament. Win. I mean, it's increased yeah. your chances yeah. to get first, right? Yeah. For yeah. sure. Well, it's like you, you, oh, there you, it is. Becker makes the call. We're going to see a coin flip more, unless yeah. if you don't someone for, else gets involved here. McEwen folds a nine. Something. So, oh, and Wiseman folds a ten. If like Lipschitz hits here. Stack. I wish I could see Jack right now. Yeah, it was wild. It was it was one of the furthest. Kislinski. He'll never do it again. Awesome. He was so sick as that he well. did it. He, he sat there. The <laughs> and there it is. Our first all-in showdown of the day. Okay. Victoria so Lipschitz, Tournament that. Life <laughs> on the line versus Jeremy Becker. You get called there. You're pretty happy to see that. Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. Very happy. Uh, yeah, it's much, much low. It's honestly like the best hand you can see, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think eight's called. Oh. Even seven. Sevens are better. I called sevens in like the yeah, same no. spot yesterday. <laughs> Lipschitz looking for an ace or a ten. Of the year. You can call anything right now. Yeah, exactly. He, he was a double up would give her oh, a great chance it wasn't in this field as home. the rest of the chips yeah. are pretty I'm close not together. Sure. I haven't run it. Look, the jack? No, that was that eight. Eight. seven eight. yesterday. Eight. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. Like low jack and shot. Dealer to fan out the yeah. swap here. All right, let's go. No, it was definitely sub ten. Seven, three, deuce, gem, two uh, diamonds. No diamonds for Lipschitz. She really is going to need an ace or a ten here. It was like oh, less than nine. Okay, it was okay, like nine big. Okay, okay. We already saw one. For Ten hit the box. So this is 2040. 2040? Okay. 100. Turn card. Four of diamonds. Now removing the diamonds from Lifshitz's yeah, okay. outs. But she does pick up a five. A non diamond five would give her the wheel. <laughs> Gives you some. Takes some. Ten bigs. I would hit here to stay alive. Okay. Well, I'm not even sure. Triple card. GG. Is the king of hearts that's not going to do it. Victoria Lipschitz came into the final table as the short stack. She's unable to make a comeback. Lipschitz collects $18,000 for her efforts. I'm sure we'll see her again in event number three. And Jeremy Becker takes this one down. He makes a nice little jump on... It's a good card. The leaderboard here as we are down to the final six, who are all guaranteed $22,500. Thank you. And that gives me a moment to quickly go through the players that cashed this <coughs> event as well, but missed out on the final table, Donnie. Pretty stacked uh, field, the final two tables. Uh, Sean Winter, eighth. Louis Spencer, then Jeremy Osmus, Zhao Simao, Jared Blesnick, and Adam Walton finished eighth he ripped through Jackson. 13th. Jackson. 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 Those players I mean, received... A little no, more I than think a mid for one point, but yeah. yeah, Jeremy Osmus we saw yesterday at the final table. He joined David Coleman there. Jack's hand was sick. To be in a bad spot like that and then to actually get there is wild. Yeah, felt great. Felt great. <laughs> yeah, it does. It Big good. spot.
look at this. McEwen makes it 100k with ace queen off. Kislinski with ace 10 off in the small blind. Bit of a troublesome hand there to continue with, out of position. Decides to let it go. Not a bad start for McEwen. Been fairly active so far. Won a handful of bots. Yeah. Lonis now sitting with 11 bigs. He is in the cutoff seat, so a couple of free hands here before he goes into the big blind, having to pay that big blind and the big blind ante. For those looking for the payouts, they are available in the description of our YouTube stream. $121,000 up top. We had 90 total players in this event. 5 0 for McEwen. He's going to come in for the raise again. McEwen so far very active. Already won four hands of the first nine. Becker in the big blind. King nine of diamonds. Going to make the call. Donnie, for someone like Becker, who's really been crushing the live scene here in Vegas in the mid to low stakes tournaments, do you think that there's a big adjustment for him moving up stakes? And I know this is not his first time playing here, but still it is, you know, far different from uh, the events he's had so many good results in. Yeah, I think you're just naturally going to have to make some adjustments. You know, maybe maybe you come in, take a couple of your first shots, trying to play your game and, and, and seeing how that goes, right? And then adjust from there, right? You know, you got to get acclimated with the competition that you're facing, what these players are doing, how they're attacking you, all that sort of stuff. So... I'd say Jeremy Becker's, you know, pro probably settling in quite nicely. It's a deal. You're on your game today, Norman. <laughs> Norman's generally on his game. Extra sharp. Our dealer, Norman. Super sharp. Donnie, I, I had a thing happen this morning, getting coffee with my fiance. <laughs> I want to I wanna tell you this story because I think the chat will get a kick out of it. Um, what's your what's your coffee order when you go to a, a local to drink coffee establishment? Coffee. <laughs> black that was coffee. wild. What? Depends it, hot or cold. That depends. On yeah, the okay, so favorite. black coffee, right? Yeah, yeah, black sure. coffee, or it'll be like black coffee if it's beer. hot, or it'll be a <laughs> cold brew if it's cold. So how long does it take that. for you to decide that when it's your time to you order? Are, no, you were more mad at the blunder you made yesterday. Yeah, Seconds, your, right? I mean, I've already had. You to already decide. you already yeah. know, right? What does your wife get? Good, good question. One time. I mean. Depends on the day, and it's like one of 17 different orders. But Jen, her most common thing is a coffee with like one pump of sugar-free vanilla. And yeah. But she gets to Basically. the point rather quickly, right? No. Four no. When, when we go out to eat anywhere, not just coffee, it's like, you know, my wife is the, the waiter comes or the waitress comes. She looks at the menu. She asks four questions she says she's not ready she asks three more questions she says she can't decide it's a, it's <laughs> it's an entire process that drives me up the wall okay so it could have been your wife in front of me but i know that it wasn't because i <laughs> i know what your wife looks like we're in line behind this couple and they're a little younger than us probably like mid-20s or something i i looked at my at my watch when we got in it took them 11 minutes donnie to order two drinks 11 minutes and then of course we swoop in right after. It takes us five seconds because, you know, we already decided what we wanted. Then their drinks come out, and they both got iced drinks. Mind you, it's around freezing in Vegas. They got iced drinks. Hers was green. His was red. And I've never seen the contraption before. They both had whipped cream on top. They had these giant long straws in them. And I, my mind was literally blown. Uh, the joke that I made with the, with the barista was... Uh, are you sure they're done ordering? Like, can we can we order with you now? Um, I got a black coffee. My fiance got a latte. You know, we went really quickly. Um, I was just blown away by the length of the coffee order. It was just like excruciating. We're just standing there, staring at the ceiling, and I believe I witnessed an eye roll from one of the uh, ladies in the back making the coffees. Uh, and, and I could clearly tell they added like half sugar this, non-fat fat whipped cream, frappa mocha, twirl it around upside down, whatever it was. It, it blew my mind. Um, I'm just going to stick to black coffee. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to poker. 
Uh, Lonus raised it up to 110k. Ewan called from the big blind. Lonus bet 60k on the flop. Ewan called. Turn went check check and we're right back. Caught up to the action with 415 in the middle. Lonus with the best of it, hitting a straight on the river. McEwen with a pair of sevens, and it looks as though he's going to fire away uh -huh. here. Sizable. Oh. And Lonus calls immediately, all in for his tournament life for 380k. Donnie, that four on the river really saved him. 385? Yeah, I mean, it, it did. 385? Um, yeah. You go. I think McEwen there probably felt that <coughs> coming out of the big blind, he could represent a five better than Jesse Lonus could. Yes, of course, Jesse Lonus had a five. <laughs> Short stack or not, I'm sorry. Jesse Lonis will get in there and right. battle. <laughs> 380? Yeah. 380. That's why it's always good to double check. He owes me Lonis. 5k from yesterday. That's true. <laughs> that I think he does, yeah. Small blind. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Tried getting his back. That's sharp. Instant karma. Yeah, as much as the double tiger hat is a trademark for Archer Martyrosian, what happened? These glasses do not Actually, leave Jesse Lonis. He did face. a small blind. No. I think yeah, he sleeps with the Supposedly I shorted the. There's a strong probability I shorted the small blind 5,000 chips. They give me like old. <laughs> and, and, Jesse, and, Jesse, and, Jesse, and Jesse was the <laughs> yeah. young. Wow. Yep. Dark people, tints. Scum, you know. Yeah, scum got of the gold earth. around the frames. Like, <laughs> maybe. They're stylish. It goes around, comes around. It didn't. He got caught. He didn't. Speaking yeah. of gambling and good at football good you were talking about earlier, I'm Jesse Owens oh oh fired the <laughs> Los Angeles Rams to win he's the Super Bowl. $40,000 bet not good pays $2 million. Yeah, that is, He put it on social yesterday, so. That is insane. And here he picks up two kings. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely insane. One Jesse Owens, for those just tuning in, bet $40,000 on the Los Angeles Rams to win the Super Bowl at 200 to 1. So he can pick up $2 million if he wins. Insane. I, I'm honestly shocked that a book would allow a bet that big on a future like that. No. 40,000? all the time. I mean, you always hear these stories about players, yep. especially high-stakes players, oh, getting okay. cut off. <laughs> like their, their, their oh, no, limits reduced, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> Jesse Lonas might be in trouble if he wins this. I was not, it was, um, yeah. It was insane. Nice Let us know in the chat if you have any bets on... NFL playoffs, have you any parlays or any futures that you're hoping to cash in on? Donnie, what's the, what's the best future you've ever won? Hmm. You don't pick me as the type of guy who fires his own team before the season starts just to have no. a sweat. I don't, even, I don't even remember. Have you ever won a future? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I'm definitely not a successful sports better. My fiance, however, she loves it. She's super into it. She bets way more on sports than I do. Jeremy Becker here raising it up with nines. Jesse Lonas comes along. Queen eight offsuit. Ace ten queen on the flop. Lonas takes the lead here. Becker, as the pre-flop raiser, can you know, try to represent that ace. It looks as though he's going to go in that direction. Under 30. along for 130 turn card five of clubs Donnie if your Lonus and Becker fires again here on the turn does that really make you hesitate about continuing in this hand yeah I mean it, it would certainly make me rethink things and, and likely find a fold that that said I, I don't know if Becker is gonna find the second shell here I mean if he does good for him this he is going to. I guess we're we're learning the Jeremy Becker secret here, and the secret is you just bet until they go away. Three sixty five. To be honest, I've started doing a lot more of that. 
Like, you bet the flop, you know, a lot of times you get called, especially nowadays, people just call you with, like, you know, bottom pair, a lot of backdoor draws, etc. Just blast the turn again. The, the, the heck with these people. <laughs> Blasting the turn is, is Donnie's motto for 2024. Let's see how it works for Jeremy Becker. Is, is Lona's the biggest concern here now, Donnie? What the river will, 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 what will happen on the river? I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's also just concern that he's just very much behind here. I mean, you're just getting crushed by a lot of aces that are going to be barreling two streets. Mm. Maybe he's got a king jack. The power and that's of good recognition there from Becker. Yeah, the power of aggression. Aggression is not dead yet. Shout out to everyone in the chat right now. Jason is with us again. Teddy, Brian, Carlson, thank you for tuning in. Earl, James, B. Howe says, Rams about to lose to the Lions. Shout out to our video editor, Joseph Maletta, who I, I've met Joseph in person probably, I don't know, 25 times. Of those 25 times, he was probably wearing a Lions jersey well over 50% of the time. If anyone deserves a win today, it's it's Joseph. Oh, we got Russell in the mix. Everyone's out today. Owen. Love to see it. Thank you all for tuning in. As Becker again comes with the raise, Jesse Lonis wastes no time, moves mm -hmm. all in with ace nine off, <laughs> gets it done. Poker can be simple sometimes. Just move all in. Uh, Lonis and Coleman now tied at like the bottom you, of the count. You win every hand. Right? <laughs> I should have just checked back last hand. Last hand? Is that good? No one ever it's says fine. that after they get a bluff through. <laughs> 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 so we had like aces, I guess. I had a queen. <laughs> <laughs> if I had another queen on the river, you would have queen jack. Yeah. Okay. Ace is more. I thought I had king jack. I was. <laughs> well, he doesn't think I do, so. Yeah, I gave you a lot. I gave you a pretty good sized bet on the flop. Can't be greedy. 120. 120. Lotus <laughs> stays active and involved. Uh, as I was going to say, uh, tied at the bottom of the counts, 24 big lines apiece. McEwen and Becker on 38 and 35. And then Kislinski, who hasn't really done anything, hasn't won a hand yet, on uh, 48 big blinds. And then Dylan Weisman, our chip leader, with 55 bigs. So a fairly well-balanced final table. Very excited <coughs> to see where this is going to go. Maybe not your, you know, your standard start of the game that you hope to see, but it's going to be fun to follow along with these storylines on the PGT leaderboard as the year sort of unfolds. We're going to see many of these players at the Poker Go Cup, the U.S. Poker Open, Poker Masters, hopefully, and uh, someone like a, you know, um, David Coleman, for example, who won last night's event. If he can really ladder up a few more spots, he's going to have a nice little bit of a lead here in the early goings of the PGT Championship. Donnie, question for you. Um, any any info on important. how these players did last year on the PGT? Can you can you dive up or pull up some numbers because I'm curious if if any of them were were close to making it into the top 40. Jesse Lonis did. Uh, Lonis was in the top. L Lonis 40. was yeah. in the top 40. Um, Almo almost solely from that 50k. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, almost, high almost solely from that. Yeah, but he's he's been around playing a lot of the um, a lot, lot of the PGT stuff. You know, maybe not you know the, the greatest success on the PGT itself, but did have some results. The other one would be David Coleman, but I, I believe he t played a much lower volume last year. I think the year before, in 2022, he played a little bit more. Last year, he didn't play as much. So he only had, you know, about 50 points total. So he's already, you know, well ahead of that. Jeremy Becker, you know, kind of came in towards the end of the season playing some stuff. You didn't really see much of McEwen or K. 
Kislinski. Victoria Lipschitz, you know, she, she was out there battling quite a bit, you know, as she has been in, in recent years. She didn't really finish anywhere near the top 40 of the leaderboard, but she was certainly trying to get one of those dream seeds via the last chance series. And then Dylan Wiseman, uh, I think he finished, he finished pretty close uh, to the top 40. Um, in, the, in the 50s somewhere. Uh, and he did, had a lot of success, of course, in some of the big PLO events. Us running two PGT PLO series last year was obviously very beneficial to him, so um, he ultimately didn't make it in. Maybe we'll see a little bit different story for these players. It's great to get a boost, a double point boost to start your season, that's for sure. Really cool to see Wiseman playing right away in this kickoff event series. Perhaps realizing that with a little bit more no limit volume and all the PLO events that we offer, he's going to have a really good shot at making the top 40 at the end of this year. Um, Alone is betting 185 on the river here. His pair of 10s best versus the King 9 of Becker. Alone is trying to get some of those chips back that he gave up a couple of hands ago. 10 seconds. Still plenty of time bank chips for Becker, so you can really analyze this one, go over time the previous streets. Oh, oh, oh! Wow, look at this. Jeremy Becker... Raising it up, putting in a big one, maybe 700,000? What was that? Yeah, it looked, looked close to it. Seven twenty. Seven twenty is the raise from Jeremy Becker. Action back on Jesse Lonis, also with tons of time, time bank chips. Donnie, this is nearly impossible to call given the strength of Lonis's hand. The one thing that could lean Jonas, or Lonis, Jonas, uh, <laughs> merging his two names, uh, Lonis to calling is that he has that jack of spades. So seconds. blocking the jack eights and, and king jacks of the world. Unblocks clubs. Time extension. I mean, seven eights in there, but is, is this the line that he's taking with the seven eight that is Becker? Whatever happens, I'm quickly becoming a fan of Jeremy Becker. Raising it up on the river, turning his pair into a bluff. Wow, Lonis makes the call. What a call from Jesse Lonis with just a pair of tens. All of a sudden, Jesse Lonis, a strong contender at this final table. Wow. Hand, hand mm -hmm. of the series so far. Well executed bluff, but an even better call. <sighs> That was wonderful. I'm running bad on these draws. <laughs> I'm running. I'm play with today. Jesse's a little bit around was, town here. It's I, one to I four. Never try to <coughs> yeah, one to four. He's a street player. He's a field player. Is I feel like he just like goes into your soul and just <laughs> rips it out. You know. Wow. That's yeah, said, six people there's still some. Uh, I think you got to tip your cap for to Jeremy there. Some, uh, you know, edge for, to be had. Like going for it. You know. I think you guys just do like one to like however many players are left. That way, there's absolutely nothing you can do. So like right now, one to six, or five handed, one to five. Because right now, you still can get an edge by being a scum. Six is too much for five minutes. It's not worth I mean, I. Yeah. Be you like know what I'm saying, though, Alan? Yeah. Uh, I can talk to Paul about it. Uh, I don't so think anyone's doing it. So in the deal. chat as says, as as can't teach feel. You can't teach feel. <laughs> Some people just have it. Yeah, you have to keep it the same, for sure. Coleman, so ace queen of clubs. Beautiful hand here, especially when you have only 21 big blinds. Let's see how much you have, no? 2.3. He has a lot. It's well, I, love, I love how he says you can't be too greedy and then he just wins all the chips and four. So. <laughs> it goes quick. It can go either way really quick. I think this is the first FT we ever played together, which is We played so much together. Really? Cool. I don't think we've ever played an FT together. I can't remember one. We play a lot of the same tournaments too. We just make different final tips. 
I mean, John Shea says, that's a horrible call. Well, yeah, it does. <laughs> it worked out pretty well for him. <laughs> Play a lot of tournaments together, but never at the end. It's not good. <laughs> but we both had pretty good years last year. <laughs> you got to get into the mixed streets. I think it'd be funny yeah. and fun. I think you'd enjoy mix, actually. I do. Yeah, I enjoy it. I just don't know all the games. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can play like the big bet mix or something just to, just to fire it. I know, yeah. I'm gonna learn them. Especially because you can get away with like the mixed players are, you know, you can get away with a lot yeah. against those dudes. <laughs> like, <laughs> Donnie, is Jesse Lonas like a Michael Mizraki type player? Aggressive, always builds up big stacks, reads your soul. I mean, uh, yes, but I don't think he's out there as Michael Mizraki. I mean, Michael Mizraki's yeah, in you. every hand, you know, <coughs> like all every hand. Are, they, I mean, you are know. we thirty-minute level still? Yeah, like all the way yeah it'll be thirty minutes. Heads up, I've wow. covered <coughs> Michael Mizraki in many events, and usually by the time you spot him in the field, he already has five starting stacks, and then he can still just not not make <laughs> not make dinner break. It has worked out for him. If you look back at his career as Kislinski, who's yet to win a hand at this final table. We're 17 hands in. Kislinski has not won a hand yet with pocket tens here, raising it up. Let's go of the king nine of spades. Wiseman in the big blind comes along with 6-5 offsuit. 3-3-8 three, three, on the flop. Very nice looking flop for pocket tens. What do you got? <laughs> you already put your bets in, no? Huh? You already put your bets in, no? Yeah, exactly. <coughs> so the, you, the lines, you don't care about the lines, do you? Because everyone's going to follow you, obviously. <coughs> you got the Chiefs? I got the Rams to win the Super Bowl. Nice job. Um, Optimistic. Why don't you want to discuss on stream? No. Oh. You have it. I'm just curious. The first game I have is Texans. Was three and a half? And I have a few over unders. Um, I have money line. What was that? 250. Plus 120. It wasn't three and a half. It was two, I think, to spread. I was going to say, yeah, uh, okay. I thought it would be higher. No. 60. Wiseman coming with a check raise here. What about the other games? Nothing yet. Well, I have some random bullshit. Mm. Not going to be shaking Kislinski on this street, but we'll see what comes on the turn and, and maybe even the river. The Rams favored the first game, no, right? They're not going to be favored any game. How much are they getting on the, first the turn? Um, I think any concern Kislinski might have had of Wiseman check raising a three Lions. is sort of out the window now because you can't really give him credit for with three, with three already out there. Got forty k to win two million. That's so sick. That's so sick. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> savage. <laughs> so savage. <laughs> They're in the Super Bowl. <laughs> I already have Super Bowl tickets, so I'm gonna. Like, that's something, like, if you win that, like, and it gets publicized, someone's going to write an article about it. <laughs> it's like one of those sick beds. Yeah. Look at this, Donnie. Wiseman continuing for 450. What's his What's his thinking here? Them? You know, because he yeah. hasn't played a hand yet. Let it ride. Right. Talking to Jesse Wallace. <laughs> 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 for check raise and then continue barrel. Even Jesse has to hedge. I mean, what we Sean Perry do. He's going to have hands like he has, you know, okay, bigger all pairs in. in his range. But he's yeah, also going to have... Let's admire that guy. I don't know, the, the king <laughs> queens of the world, the ace king, the ace, ace queens, you know. Maybe he has a pair of sevens, something like that, right, where 
an underpair to the eights, and Wiseman can just represent the eight here and just barrel off. I mean, now this is going to be an interesting card. <laughs> wow. Full house. Now, if Wiseman did have that eight, he would have eights full of threes, whereas Kozlinski is still just has the threes full of tens. So, see how Wiseman reads this one and what he decides to, to go. I, I would assume he doesn't think that Kozlinski has a lot of eights. Wow. Did he announce all in? <laughs> he did. Wiseman is all in with six high. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a massive bluff. Yeah, I mean, I mean good luck with this one, Sergey. I mean, <laughs> flip a coin and <laughs> make your best decision. I mean, I don't. How do you feel about, about the bluff line that Wiseman is taking here? I mean, I, I like it. You know, you get to this point in the hand, it's like, well, I can't win. And in a lot of ways, this might be a better river card than, than just, you know, some blanks because I think it's believable that he has an eight, you know? He can play an eight like this for sure. Wow. Dylan Wiseman risking it all with six high. Of course, he has a full house, but, you know, you guys get the point. Kislinski here just has to make the call to receive a huge double up. Let it be known that these are the two biggest stacks at the table clashing. Johnny, is part of Weissman's reasoning, uh, does it have to do with the fact there's a full house on board and he wants to get his opponent off a chop? If that were to be in play somehow? Uh, I mean, yeah, that, that could be in play. You know, let's say Kislinski has ace queen, right? Yeah, you could fold out chops. I think the other aspect is what you mentioned with these being the two biggest stacks. I mean, you. Not that anyone's severely short here, shortest stack being Jeremy Becker with almost 16 big blinds, but. You know, the position of where Kislinski started this hand, and where he figures out that he would, you know, ultimately end up within the table, probably top three is, you know, pretty confident, then. You want to just kind of torch it all here with. We can obviously see he's got the best hand, but in his mind, I mean, it's probably very close. Like, it's probably a flip. You've got to love the fact that Wiseman is going for it. High level play here from the PLO specialist. The question is can he get it done here? Is Kislinski going to give up his pair of tens? Is he going to buy the fact that he's representing like eight? And he does lay it down. Wow. Kislinski folds his tens. Fun Wiseman spot, huh? goes check Where's race flop, spot, yeah. bet turn, Fine shove either. river, and bluffs Kislinski <coughs> off his hand. Wow. What an awesome hand that was. Hmm. How many? Four? Yeah. Dylan three Wiseman, like it's nothing, extends his chip there. lead now very up to 3.6 million. I only ever has an eight. Was it? Oh, he ever has an eight. Damn. Why not? Donnie, you're pretty bad. You're the river. Getting the hero yeah, call from Lonis. Now <laughs> this. You say I'm a PLO player? PLO player. PLO. He is a PLO player. I don't know what's more disrespectful. <laughs> Confirmed PLO player, though. Yeah, he got me. He got me. I, I need to fight back at least this, this way, you know? <laughs> okay. Poker's hard. God damn it. Wow. <coughs> Woman right there. Didn't you see me bluff into a royal like two weeks ago? No. Yeah. I, I don't follow. Yeah. Since so no. I seen you bluff and into sevens a few months ago. Yeah. 120? Ace Queen or some shit like that. Becker, our short stack on 15 bigs. <laughs> it's going to come into the raise here. <clears throat> he aces sometimes, right? Yeah? Yeah. Well, yeah. 
Get three mana. Likely. Sure. Yeah. Unlikely. Mm. Give him a pick. Give him three mana. He's still up there. <laughs> oh, he's just, uh, everything you, like Max, deep, right? Max, everything you yeah. say, he's just going to say he's a pillow player. It's going to be his response to everything. 320. Three axes. I don't know. I don't think he had aces. What's that? He did not have aces. Wiseman well, continued with the aggression, no, making it 320 with ace 5. I mean, I've seen stuff like that. Becker here, Donnie. Pretty decent spot to get it in versus What's that? the chip think leader. For sure, yeah, but people still do that. Yeah. He's a pillow player. Yeah, Except, especially pillow players. They call aces right, left and right. <laughs> he had bad aces, he might call them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Jesse Lonis just cold four bet. Wow. Out of the big one. I was wondering, I was like, yeah. are the graphics delayed or is he actually thinking because we weren't showing Lonis? But no, he was, uh, he's coming with the cold four here. I thought Lonis had already folded and the graphics were a little behind. Matt, is that you? What? Is that your rail? I wish. Some damage. Run that good, the, the ACX certainly <laughs> shrinks up quite a bit now, facing a three bet and then a cold four from from Jesse Lewis. Not that Jesse Lewis can't you know step outside the box as as evidenced by what he's doing right here, but wow. I mean, I guess we're playing poker today, boys. I, mean, I don't know what to, what to tell you. This final table has been incredible so far. Uh, the best one. hand is out of the way, and Dylan Weissman looking back at his ace five, tossing it into the muck. Jesse Lonas gets it done. That's some power poker, Don. That is that is making something out of nothing. Aj, test is what? Yeah. R B. Aaron B in the chat says the theme for today is aggression. I like it. I'm here for it. Second in the sprint packet. Yeah, I didn't know that. Jesse Lonis now up to that? second in chips, up over 2.7 million. Love to see it. You know, see that's the type of player who bets 40k on the Rams to win the Super Bowl, right? That you find the Ace Five suited, or sorry, Ace Five off in the big blind, raising the three bet in front of you, you just cold for it. That's what that's what you do. You put 40 dimes on the LA Rams. Matthew Stafford you know and company to win two. That's, two million. Million. <laughs> that's what you do. He's like, what's the minimum I could raise it? I'm going to just click it. <laughs> Best bluffing hand you could have. I had that one. What is that? <laughs> it's been opted. The level of play so far is fantastic yeah, at this it. final table. Yeah, I'm on tilt. Some why very why entertaining you hands. You <laughs> that was my hand. What about ace five? Nobody yeah, seems eight scared eight to make moves. Ah. Tough spot. Shoot, shoot it. <laughs> Buddy, it's tough to make a royal. Yeah. It's, it's real. It is. Free yeah, 40 percent of a royal. Just give, give yourself two more cards. It makes it easier. I'm not going to hit it if I don't see the board. I know that. I might have an eight, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely have an eight. Yeah. So. If you're just tuning in, we are six-handed at the final Ooh, table of event number aces. two of the 2024 yeah. PGT kickoff. I, I just hate folding. First prize yeah. in this event, one hundred and twenty-two thousand dollars. Yeah. We've lost Victoria Lipschitz in seventh place yeah. not too long ago, and ever since then, the remaining six players have been. Hmm. Trying to get their chips into the middle as fast as possible. We've seen lots of aggressive plays so far. It's been terrific watching the action <coughs> as Jesse Lonis <coughs> finds deuces. And he just he just sticks it in here, applying pressure on the two shorter stacks. Gislinski, by the way, finds ace-queen offsuit. Becker, Donnie, 
Oh, there it is. Kaczynski makes the call. I was going to make the argument for potentially no. not risking it. <laughs> 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 Here we go. Right. Jesse Lone is happy to hear that at least his pair is not dominated. The pair is that hand. My hand? No. I prefer your hand. I'm a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chad, let us know. Are you more of a small uh, pair kind of player, so. or would you like I to have the overcards? I'll take the overcards, Donnie. You want Not the pair? Not my year, last year was. I hate trying to hold on with the pair. I'd rather <laughs> try and hit I don't believe, I don't believe you feel that one second. I don't believe that you feel that. Last year, this wasn't even a sweat. <laughs> yeah, you have, you have to build confidence like for this just, year. You're trying to Hasn't quite been built up yet. I don't like that feeling. All right, here comes the flop. Kislinski at risk. Bad Ace, flop. king, jack. I like it. That's Diamond. why. Yeah, I had queen 10 all. He's got the big cards. Check. Queen 10 all? You're the one that's running hot. That was I, I wanted ball. 10. I'm sure. has got the backdoor <laughs> diamonds going. He feels safer. Let's see if he can. She's going to put a diamond out At least give card. us a sweat oh, no. on the it turn. Had, there has to be a diamond. <laughs> if it's 10, okay. <laughs> I think Jesse turn would card. take that. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> is the six of diamonds, and I the sweat is what very live. Do you have diamonds? <laughs> 11 outs now for Lonis. I said that yesterday. Yes. Anybody have a deuce? Looking for a hold <laughs> to stay in the tournament. River card. Damn. Is the four of clubs. 14, Close but no cigar. It was a small, a small club, but not the deuce of clubs. No spinning. Uh -huh. I'm not so far. Now up to 2.9 million. Lonus it's back to 1.4. But we know that. Swings don't bother Jesse Lonis, like most players. Like big time. He's going to keep on Probably fighting. Not, but versus Jesse, I don't know. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> that, that, that's literally how I feel. Yeah. I think versus a lot of people, I'm like, it's, I was like, it's, it's I was sharp. like, I was like, oh, that's 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 a good hand candidate, and I'm like, oh wait, but it's Jesse. <laughs> the Jack 10 deck call is, is perfect. Jack 10 deck call is pretty spot on. Yeah, it's very good. Gizlinski now back to second in chips. Did he even use an extension? It would have been your just tournament. No, he, he used one. He did? Yeah, he over. You got, you got one time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> long day. Well, not long day. I mean, it's actually pretty impressive. You never know. <laughs> I don't know how many time oh, extensions I've ever seen. You're joining us on not very YouTube. Don't forget to hit the like I'm, button. It means a lot. It helps so us long. spread the word. Using a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe he made such a loose call. He is clean. Good Gamble. I thought I could get that hand to fold. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, you, so it uh, feels like... I feel the nice on the flop, so I went for it. See, field play. Field play is where it's at. Yeah. For sure. Next plan is 80, right? Anyone else? Yeah, 30, 60, 40, 80, 51. Check. Dylan Weissman for sure knows the entire structure sheet off the top of his head. He probably knows the levels that are on the structure sheet. After 51. <laughs> the ones that they make up if we That's go too far. It gets big. That's exactly. Yeah, it gets really big. <coughs> five, five, seven That's on usually around when his head's up. Limp at least hot past the blind. And then one, two, and then it, ends, it usually ends around 75, or yeah. 75. Yeah, yeah. 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 60K from Coleman here. Flopped two pair. Becker's got just a jack high. Dan Dehaj over on the Poker Go chat said, this is one of the most entertaining final tables recently. I would agree. I think <laughs> yeah. Remco would agree as well. 100%. These players are going for it. We'd love to see it. Well, I Speaking of going for it, I mean, Becker here calling in position with the jack high. So has he got plans for a later street here? It looks like it. 
And he's not, he doesn't have the deepest stack to start this hand, so. All those chips are certainly very valuable for Becker. If you're Coleman, there's not too many reasons to worry about that queen, right? What, what kind of queens could Becker have? Yeah, probably not too worried about it. A better seven is maybe a bigger worry? Yeah, probably a better seven, maybe some fives, you know, as well. <coughs> so you can just kind of go into pot control mode. Ten on the river. Coleman probably also happy to get to showdown. Or, you know, letting Becker bluff at it. He's got to feel pretty decent about a seven at this point. Now, Becker calling in position with Jack High on the flop, to me, has to mean that he has a plan. Well, if he checks, then his plan was that my Jack Seven. High is good. Yeah. Wow. Calls with Jack High and Somebody. then just decides that he's not going to risk any more chips. Perhaps not the board development he was looking for. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, but maybe not. I mean, maybe he did feel like there was a decent chance that, you know, his Jack High was fine. And he's lost a 3 million chip flip. But it, I saw him, uh, I saw Charger T in the chat says, hello, Rem Quindani. Saturday night, no. Saturday night and poker galore. Oh, yeah, That's what I'd like to see. Put some Thanks respect on you, buddy. Name. Appreciate it. Andrew Deucing says, this nice. table has many hustlers. I can see that. We definitely have the right kind of vibe going at this table. Aggressive right. play, some chatter, jovial atmosphere. Definitely happened before. I'm enjoying it. Wiseman, Queen, Jack off, going to come in for the raise. <clears throat> Wiseman takes this one down. Uncontested. Uh, Becker, by the way, after that hand, now down to 10 big blinds. He's going to have to make something happen. So far, Jesse Lonis has won seven hands at this final table already, and despite losing that big one just now, still up 670K since the start of play today. Coleman with Jack-10 offsuit has not been as fortunate, only won one hand so far at this final table. Shout out to Jason in the chat, gifting one BogoGo YouTube membership. YouTube members get some small perks, most importantly. You get your you get your name in a special color, you get shout outs. You're first in line to ask us questions and uh, you get some special emojis. So it's a fun way to <coughs> stay engaged with our with our platforms. But I, I feel tempted to do that with Aces. It's like pre flop set. Has been you call rather pre quiet the last few orbits. Board, board, you like imagine you have a set. <laughs> this is basically cheap the same. Flop. <laughs> Yeah, she's crazy. Go bed, bed, and like. She's not gonna chance to see it. Defend the big one, the aces. Painful. No, no. Okay. Cash hmm? never. But Same tournaments, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're thirty four. Close to like when you're shorter, but not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ren, so I'm much shorter. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Hold the heads up. Well, would you look at that? Our PokerGo shop has all the stuff you need to look cool at the poker, poker table. Check out shop.pokergo.com right now and take your game to the next level. We got high stakes poker, no gamble, no future. PokerGo merch. I think we got some super high rollable stuff in there. I I could not help myself. It we'll was never. so good. Yeah, <laughs> I trust you. Kislinski 
ace king offsuit. There's so many. Nice hand for him. There, yeah, I played with them so much last year, and they get stuck in you for sure. I was lucky enough to have them at like every one of my tables. It seemed like he's funny. So funny. He's funny. I think he's not the same without him. It's not. It's possible. Wiseman in the small blind. Just commentating that. Definitely commentating has the upper that. hand when it comes to yeah, uh, it's battling with Kislinski, but ace 10 off in the small blind, not the type of hand he wants to tangle with. So we like send on bluff spots, but I know. Yeah, I don't think people bluff through, especially Phoenix when it's three coming felon on the turn. Asking what city it's, is this in? We are in Las Vegas, city. Nevada, people has the played. home of the Pokego Studio. Like, OTB Red Burn used to fold in spots like that, like, every time. Mm -hmm. And, like, people start rushing guys. In. Yeah, yeah. They figure it out, and they start, like, just oh. raising every turn, like, in non bluff spots. Yeah. But you have to, like, know, know your, your customer. Yeah. Uh, number one rule in the game. What's that? It's the number one rule in the game. You sure, yeah, know yeah. your customer. Sure. Well, the first this OG guy used to, old guy used to play limit hold'em yeah. with. He said, Jesse, number one rule is you have to know your customer. <laughs> I'll never forget it. He used to always win. Sammy the bull. Oh, wow. No, you don't know Sammy. The bull? Not, that's old school. <laughs> not, not, not the... Uh, oh, I thought you were talking about the one that played, played at Triton and stuff like that. Played where? There was a dude that played a trade named Sam. There's the a guy nicknamed. He plays cash too. So. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Okay. Guys from LA. Yeah, that's the guy we're, I'm talking about too. From LA. All right. All right. All right. That worked out. At least it's not, not stone my big blind this time. Building a tower of chips. <laughs> I do like seeing the big stacks. How long have you been playing? How long have I been there? Yeah. Um, like when that land, or when did I start playing professional? About 1.1 behind so, right? Yeah, defense. yeah, I started with 20 goods. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Professional? Heads up here to a flop. Bullman versus Wise. Like, like 22 and then. Okay. Ace King 9. Turn Bullman checks. Four, five years. Life cash at LA? In LA? No, I'm in New York. Oh, okay, okay. Home games? No, um, casino games mainly. In like Atlantic City? Upstate, upstate New York. Turning Stone Casino, Rivers Casino. I, I've never been, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. 180. Makes sense. They're very not good. Yeah, yeah. Not a lot of money in there. 180 announced from Wiseman, and Coleman quickly gave it up. Not worth fighting for there, says Coleman. Oh, there you know. Let's move on. Uh, 10 How years. Nolan Holm tournament so says Wiseman won. <laughs> Oh, I, well, I can tell well, you right now because I'm looking at his hand as we speak. Okay. Do I get more? Dylan Do I get more? Has only won uh, two you're tournaments in his career. career. Will like more. <laughs> like number one yeah. finishes. You believe Blesnick? It was a mixed game, game event. Was Dealer's yeah. choice. Yeah. No. A 25K I, 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 PLO. I, and of course, the second he said I haven't looked, I was right. Me and Zhao looked at each other. We said bullshit. Bullshit. The way he was sweating it, I knew he had. No, the way he was sweating it. No, both of us. Both of us. Like I would have bet so much money. I don't know what his hand was. He got so. He got so mad when I caught it. I was like, no way. There's no fucking chance. I would have bet so much money that he. I don't know what his hand was, but I would have bet money he won the hand. I would have given you four to one on it. 
Wiseman. He loves the attention. Like he loves doing it. And the way he did it too. Was oh, yeah. Third. One thirty. In a very entertaining deep stack. Back in no, yeah. You're, you're showing up for the stick. Or you're not. You're not consenting to it, but you're going to get it. <laughs> you're going to get the stick. Jesse Lone is finding kings here, raising it up to 130k. Kislinski, Donnie, Ace Jack, also in position. How do we? How do we treat that hand? You don't like. I see some collision here. I've played with him for so long at this point. Kislinski's paying attention, which I think he is. Then he's, you know, the ace jack is is certainly. We just playable. walk out of the room. It just depends on if you want to decide to three better well, position right? against Lonus or poor call. You know, Lonus has been mixing it up a bit. Yeah, he's had some good hands. You know, he was also super short and opened the king five suited, right? So he does call and heads up to the flop. Ten, seven, three. Not much there at all for Kislinski. Lonis very much in front. Lonis playing it coy, checking over to his opponent. Kislinski checks behind. Three pairs of the board on the turn. Brings a second spade. One ninety. Yeah, that's it. So get a call from Kislinski here. You know, it can be some some weaker hands in Jesse Lonis's range. Kind of reassess things on the river. Four of spades comes in. Backdoor spades might be in the mind of these players, of course. Four eighty five. Four eighty-five from <coughs> Jesse Lonis, and looks like Kislinski's gonna take some time with this one. Think it over. <laughs> I mean, you can't trust Jesse Lonis in any spot. Donnie. <laughs> like Ace High versus Jesse Lonis is a is a pretty good situation, given his uh, history as an aggressive player. Then again, he's making use of that image in the best way possible. Look at this, Kislinski using a time bank chip. Suspicious of Lonus perhaps being on a big bluff. Yeah, probably thinking, you know, why is he why is he checking the flop with an overpair, right? You know, why is he checking the flop with a ten if he's got a ten? I block some of the, the hands that or the tens that could be opening, you know, the jack tens, the ace tens of the world, so Wow, makes the call with ace high. Jesse Lonus plays it perfectly to get the maximum value from Kislinski's ace high. And Tony, Jesse Lonus' swings are unbelievable at this final table. Oh, yeah. Cool. I believe it was already up to 3 million, then down to 1.4, and now back Thank up you. to 2.2 <laughs> million. It. It's been a blast to watch him so far. And Donnie, you know what time it is. Let's go. Time travel. Rev it's, up that DeLorean, we, we, We're still working on the graphics, <laughs> but it is time to travel through time. <laughs> and there it is. We just uh, skipped ahead <laughs> on the timeline. Space-time yeah, continuum is inside the Pokego Studio playoff? works a yes. little bit differently yeah. than uh, first one. back where you're watching so. from. <laughs> uh, if you're just tuning in, my name is Rem Karinkama. Donnie Peters alongside me. Continuing coverage here. Final six players of Event 2 of the PGT kickoff. If you want to follow along with all of our updates, Check out PGT.com for live reporting, news, updates, all sorts of content. We have every single thing going on right now. And um, we're streaming for the next four days, so don't miss out on that action. Uh, double points up for grabs. So my prediction is that our 10K at the end of the week, or excuse me, at the end of the series, is going to be very big. And it might bring out the likes of a Daniel Negreanu. Perhaps we're going to see some more superstars in the mix. All in. Even. Couple tens here for Becker, all in from the small. McEwen finds an oh. ace in the big and makes the call. <laughs> Jeremy Becker at risk. 
in a great situation. 50, 50. Can't fault the Q and him calling it. He says, wow, when he sees back his hand, like, I'm not going to get a hand really that good. Really, only shotguns. Within trap. I fold a ton. Unlikely, I'm you're kidding. right. I'm kidding. You're right. <laughs> Unlikely. Yeah, I was right. You, you, you don't know what they did. I don't. I'm clicking <laughs> buttons. I, I, you I didn't hear me. This. No one folded clicking buttons. <laughs> no, no, no aces. Folded aces. All the aces are alive. No ace here. I, fold, I folded ace shock. I didn't feel it. Good, yeah. good, good fold. Pop stick on ace six six. Yeah. Anyone oh, have a I time? Yeah, I'm a big fan of back. Uh, putting on the fluffy fleece there for this level as king nine eight rolls off the deck. Two hearts, no hearts in Play. I'll take a so Kewin looking for an ace seven, to send Becker five. to the rail. I'll take a five. I'll take seven, a eight. Three. Seven. <laughs> seven is better. Yeah. Yeah, seven's fun. Seven's fun. I hate the suspense. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the turn card. Oh, Becker not a it's fan bad. of the sweat. Really McEwen still needing an ace and an ace only to send Becker to the rail. Here's the river card. So it is the ten of hearts. All right. Hey, turn seven would be nice. Five. Five. Now we need the ace. Yeah. Breaks in a yeah, seven would make it very ten. nice double up. Still keeps him towards the bottom of the counts, but it levels the playing field just a little more. Bad news, though, for McEwen, who is now our short stack with just ten big blinds. <coughs> yeah, I'm definitely uh, counting this. <laughs> huh? She counted it. No, no. No, she didn't. Oh, she didn't? Oh, yeah. His, his payment. I only do that to Jesse. 820 now, Matt. Hmm? 820? Uh, yeah. Hold on. 860. <clears throat> Actually? Hold on. Oh, it's like... Small blind, yes. Stone, stone, stone right. Stone, yeah, stone, stone right. Including that. It's your year, bro. Yeah. <laughs> your, it's just Dial your year. In. You can do much. Sick. I know. It's a good skill. Action folds around to Becker. Lays down the King 3 offsuit. <laughs> it is a lot. Good. I want it to be done. Nice and quick. Yeah. Big, very turbo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the TVs are out there. I want to go watch some football. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even stream it on but his I phone. But I want to win, too. <laughs> That's greedy. If you look yeah, right you can ladder away a couple Jesse, do you want the sweat? <coughs> this gentleman is going to relay scores to you. Do you want the sweat or do you want the scores? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now keep it. I may get tilted, so keep it a secret. <laughs> Actually, you should tell him the scores. That's the right answer. Who you have again? Either way, it won't benefit him. You have Houston. Yeah. So the Browns are winning. Bring it in. If not, keep us in the dark. <laughs> Don't say a word. <laughs> it's only the first quarter, it don't matter anyway. You started with 2.1-ish. 2.2, yeah. Thank you. Call. 2.1 behind now, yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. Two big stacks, two big hands, king queen off, and ace 10 of spades. Would not be surprised to see Lona's raise it up here, and maybe Wiseman getting creative, Donnie. 320. There's that first raise. Also, like, so, such little hesitation there, making the 320. 320. 320. 320. There it is. Creativity on display. <laughs> All in and a call. No, Jesse Lone is ace-10 oh, wow. suited. He doesn't care. He just wants to get it in. 
Dang. Classic Jesse Lonis lines. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That was Classic <laughs> Jesse Lonis yeah, announced by the I table. The it took him three seconds to make that call, according to our stat screen. By the way, it took it took Dylan Wiseman only seven seconds to make to go all in. Actually bad for me to Given the stacks and the positioning that Lonis is in, you know, maybe some other players think through the ace ten a little bit more. Jesse, nope, let's go. <laughs> wow, what a monster all in we have on our hands here. Almost four and a half million in the middle. Here's the flop. Ace, six, king, one spade. Alonis keeps his king lead. In the window first. <laughs> Why is the not drawing dead? King in the window. King on the track. Alonis gets two pair here. Why is it going to get some different outs? But for now, he's looking for a king or a queen. Turn card is the seven of clubs. Situation remains unchanged. Jesse Lonis looking to fade a king or a queen to give himself a huge chip lead. River card wow. is a queen. Unlucky, oh my god, Jesse Lonis eliminated. Do this without. Dylan Wiseman yeah. spikes the queen on the river. Good luck. Good luck Thank you. Go and me. rakes in an absolutely <laughs> massive wow. pot. Very lucky. Donnie, this guy is unstoppable right now. Speechless, man. I mean, what do you want me to say? I mean, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> that queen out of nowhere. I thought once he faded the turn, I, know, I just kind of felt like this one was going to go Jesse's it, way. Yeah, he really was going to have the big stack. Yeah, he was going to start leaning on his opponents. Nope. Yeah. Boom. Queen on the river from the dealer. You heard Dylan Wiseman say it there. Very lucky. <laughs> Gets it done. <laughs> what just fucking happened? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? I just heard someone say, oh, nice, you're out. Oh, wait, not nice. <laughs> Is it Sean Wayne? Wow. That was Alan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dylan Wiseman now. That's Six wrong. million in chips. 53% of well. the chips That's in play. Good. That means he has more than everyone else combined. I thought I 75 big <laughs> blinds. <laughs> maybe like, maybe not the best hand. I didn't think it was that good. Wow. <laughs> We've seen some very, very fun hands at this final table. We've seen some, some pretty fun bluffs. We've seen wow. a hero call, you know. We just saw that four and a half billion chip pot between two of the bigger stacks at the table. This has been incredible. Yeah, this uh, like 1.7 inch. Final right? table has not Do disappointed. Oh, oh, yeah, four of those. Thank you, thank yeah. you. That's perfect. Okay. You know, sometimes Donnie, when you watch live poker, <clears throat> like a live poker stream, you have a feeling that you're, you know, watching right. paint dry. You know, and like it takes up forever, and people are very tight and nitty and passive. And then sometimes, like today, you feel it's like you're watching dollars. a highlight reel, okay. but yeah. instead you're actually watching a live stream. This feels like a highlight reel, nice and so watch. far it is the right. Dylan right. Wiseman right. show. The like Pot Limit Omaha is. Special is getting it done here. As we're still sort of in the early goings, we're still five-handed. Uh, but if things continues to trend in this same direction, uh, Wiseman might be unstoppable. Yeah, Wiseman here very much in the driver's seat. Would expect him to lean on his opponents quite a bit. He can really lean on second in chips, Sergei Kislinski, because... You know, he, he's comfortably in second, well ahead of Coleman, Becker, and McEwen. McEwen being the shortest stack, now approaching 10 bigs for McEwen. Do you think Jesse Lonis, you know, made a mistake there, given the fact that the other players are so short? I mean, I, I think it's probably debatable. That said, you know, I'm, I'm big on playing your game and, and being the best version of yourself, and I would never have expected Jesse Lonis to fold that hand. So, you know, it's like as soon as 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 soon as Wiseman said all in, I, I knew Lonis was going to call, just because you just, you know he's that type of player, right? He's he's going to gamble it up at times. He's going to press some edges. And, yeah, maybe some people find the fold there just because of the ICM and your positioning and all that sort of stuff. But... 
Dynamics now very intriguing, Donnie. The pay jumps, or as I like to call them, the points jumps, very <laughs> significant right now, especially if you're someone like a Coleman. You know, you're sitting on 15 bigs, you're oh, third in chips, you're not far off the bottom, oh, you're very far from the out. top. It might idea. make sense to just, you know, next, next close your eyes for a That's few orbits, nine, hoping that one, you pick know. up additional points and you can make it to top three. Yeah, I mean, it might also make sense to go for it too you know it, it just kind of depends how he feels about the situation if he feels like hey i want to i want to really try and lock up some more points because i'm, I'm in a really good position here and i want to make the most of it or he could say you know what i ran hot yesterday i got first place i got 240 points so i'm well out in front of everyone no one else remaining among these final five made yesterday's final table so no matter what happens from here on out i'm going to be padding my lead so Maybe he does ultimately just go 800. for 800. Dylan Wiseman comes in with the race holding pocket tens to 160. Coleman, winner sure of last night's five. event, three bets to 800K. And we, we just I just saw him three bet jam on Wiseman. Owen. And here it is. Wiseman moves all in. Coleman with the quick call, risking his tournament life with a very good looking ace jack of diamonds, especially <coughs> given the fact that he is up against two tens. Now, the question is, can Wiseman continue his hot streak? One, two, five. Or is Coleman going to double into contention here? Big showdown brewing here. Especially Becker and McEwen would be more than happy to see one more player leave the room here. Coleman has been running very hot lately. Let's see if he can keep that up. Wow. Jack in the window, but a queen and a ten right behind it. He's a uh, window card. Flop, right? it's a flop. Jack on the turn. Coleman now Another looking king. for a king to make Broadway. No Jack, hearts Jack in is play spicy, here. Yeah. It gives you lots of, gives yeah. you way more outs. It's so greedy, man. I'll I'll take a, some help all right, Jack. <laughs> Jack, you give him more outs? Give him a nine. <laughs> give him a nine. Nine seems fair. I don't like the nine. You don't like the nine? <laughs> right. Turn card. Is a jack <laughs> and Wiseman <laughs> hits a full house. Why didn't house. you want that? That's a Coleman great turn. Hits you. trips and all I of a sudden has a bunch more outs. So long. Long. <laughs> Low card. Let's give it like a four this a time. A jack, an ace, a or a queen would give Coleman a double up here. Now the nine. The nine's fine here too. Four is it. All right. Let's see the river card. 2.6 million in the middle. Is Coleman going to double up or will he hit the rail? This one out. Mm hmm. Again. It's the five of hearts, and nice Dylan time. Wiseman's strong you. run at this final table continues. Luck runs out for David Coleman. He is sent to the rail <coughs> in fifth place. Coleman collects $31,500 and pats his lead in the early goings of the PGT leaderboard. He picks up 63 points. We are getting double points here for the kickoff events. Uh, Wiseman in pole position, up to 66% of all the chips in play. Becker and McEwen virtually tied at the bottom of the standings. See if I get Sean Winner this ladder to second. Yeah, Coleman up to 303 he's, on the season I did, in terms what? of PGT I, I points, so Winter no one else can catch him second. today. I had, a, I had to cockroach versus Sean Winter recently. If it someone wins, one of the hardest things that I've ever 243 done. 243 points, so he's so still be 60 points off of Coleman. We were like at a final table where the chip leader was very good and had all the chips and it was PLO. And him and I, and other, the other people at the table didn't have as much ICM awareness. Mm. And so we were just sitting there, folding. And I lost. Could not beat him. He just, he can feel, the, the issue is that he can feel what's coming, and that's an unfair advantage. <laughs> I can't, you can't he beat was, He was born for this. You can't beat that. Dynamics are done. The two short stacks and the blinds. How do you tackle this if you're Becker? I mean, Round two, goes maybe? for it. Do you go much nope. wider because McEwen really can't call much? It's like yeah, you have like two million, it. right? A little more. Yes. I would two probably just stick to, <laughs> Thank you. You know my typical ranges. I think it's fine there to shove a queen. I'm the last one on this side. Oh. You are. You are the, you are the lone survivor. Yeah. I feel I feel threatened now. <laughs> Too many people. American? <laughs> no way. <really. laughs> Americans too, yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's team play over here for sure. 
Dylan Wiseman <clears throat> weighing down his side of the table with that enormous chip lead. <clears throat> All eyes right now That's on, on. A big card. the battle between the short stacks and the Q&A down at 660k. <laughs> that one shove that Becca right? got through yes, yes, really yes. making the difference here. Your friends? <laughs> <laughs> no, not everyone, but some, yeah. Oh, you said even your friends. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, something's wrong. Uh, with yeah, something's wrong with me, I don't know. But I'm getting better with that. I used to be worse. That's good. I don't know why. Meanwhile, event number three underway. You can follow the live reporting on PGT.com. Lucky Chewy, Alex Foxen, Yo Viral, Chino Reem, all back in the mix. David Peters, Ryan Reese, Shannon Shore, Jim Colopy. It's a who's who of the high roller scene here in Las Vegas. 450. Donnie, must be nice to be a, a poker pro and living in Las Vegas. You can just roll out of bed, yeah. play the next event. If you're Dylan Weisman right now, Donnie. Is, is it okay to let your foot off the gas a little mm -hmm. bit just because a misstep would just make your day that much more complicated? Right, n right now you have such a massive buffer. Uh, I mean, I, I think you still have, have your foot on the gas quite a bit. <coughs> so, I mean, you can take it off the gas, post-flop, on turn, stuff like that. But, I, you know, I think pre-flop, you can almost, you know, not even look at your cards, pretend to look at your cards type of thing, and just and just open and then proceed from there. I mean, it's just going to be really hard for these players to, to fight back against you. Here we have your favorite situation. <laughs> Same hand between these two players. Becker is suited. Started with a, a million This even. is the real poker <laughs> test, according to Remco. <laughs> yep. Who is better? <laughs> this will decide it once and for all between these two guys. Jack three versus Jack three. Wiseman, of course, with a massive edge here, having flopped diamonds. It's so crazy looking at the leaderboard, seeing Wiseman sitting on 66% of chips in play. And it takes this one down with a bet as well. I might even know why, because like, uh, like which friends I sweat against and which doesn't, which I don't. Like yeah. uh, people who feel entitled, I'm like fucking punish him. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know why it bothers me so much. It shouldn't. <laughs> I don't know. I need help. Feeling very <laughs> comfortable right now. You said you're getting better. Yeah, I know, but slowly. You know? Oh, awareness is the first thing. I play for way too long to like. It's gonna take a while. This rate. You know what's bizarre, Donnie, about tournament final tables? You play a full day of poker, focused, dedicated, locked in, and you're trying to make the final table, and. You know, usually things are pretty serious. Now we're down to the final four. Every elimination is a big pay jump. Every elimination is worth a ton of points. And these guys are so casual. They're so laid back. And it, it is one of those things where everyone's happy to make the final four. Everyone's getting a nice payout. But, but for some reason, it just feels so much more casual compared to All when right. you walk around you on a day one, one field. Times. You are? Yeah, I mean, I, I think there's some pressure lifted, right? There's also an increased level of, you know, camaraderie, you know, having gone through the tournament with, with these players, you know, you get a little bit closer to them, maybe if you weren't close already. I'm just waking up with it, honestly. 
your credibility is shot right now. Yeah, totally. <laughs> it's no, like nobody believes. Like it in that in the in the hand against Chester, you're like, wow, I should have checked the chart and you just have stone air. <laughs> did you hear what he well, said though? No, he, I he told was, him though. No, I was. No, I, 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 I did. He's I like, yeah, I, I know. I heard that. It was hilarious. I, I couldn't keep the lag going. <laughs> I had to don't. That's why I didn't. I can't. I can't. I couldn't wait to see it on the stream. I don't want to give anything away. I mean, I, I find it was my fault. Yeah. It could, it could be like Ron. It's like the worst river in the deck for you. For sure, yeah. Oh, what do you guys have? I'll tell you when no you see one it. Knows. Right? <laughs> no one knows. It's not public knowledge yet. <laughs> it's not for us. It'll be. Oh, I thought it was. No, That's we didn't. We haven't seen it yet. Oh. Wiseman gets walked. To be fair, though, that would have been a huge problem if you didn't look find at a spot it. Here to get his <laughs> money. I guess. I seen like one hand. If you're with us in the chat on YouTube, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Let us know where you're watching from. Yeah, uh, it's more importantly, right, right you now, behind. let no. us know oh, no, if you I'm getting, I'm getting think shorter. Okay. that Wiseman right. can still lose this <laughs> thing. Uh, Bradley McFarlane, going back to the Jesse Lonas hand, says, How are the announcers surprised Jesse snapped all in with ace 10? I mean, one of the reasons could be that there's two players sitting on 10 big blinds. And uh, laddering up two spots, definitely within the realm of possibility there, without too much <coughs> tanking and wasting of time. As McEwen finds Ace King offsuit here, and there it is, Dylan Wiseman pocket like nines. Right. This is for uh, sure. One point uh, seven. Got it. Yep. And three to five. All in. Wiseman moves all in. All in. Kislinski yep. throws Queen 10 off in the <coughs> muck. McEwen happy to table Ace King in the situation. What's Beautiful spot for him here to double up. 620. It's probably not going that way, but I'll pay it if it is. <laughs> <laughs> McEwen looking for an Ace or a King to start a bit of a comeback Thank here. King. With the way Wiseman's been <laughs> running, <laughs> might be tough. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Nine seven seven. I I don't want to say I called it, but I called it. I mean, it, is so. funny. <laughs> it, is, it is still not about. Seven, seven. I said I'll pay it if it could be win, any more yeah. of Dylan Wiseman's day. I mean, what? Seven would be fun. I'll give you a seven. unbelievable you year. Hundred percent. I'll take this. Yeah, that's fair. McEwen, 0.7% chance to win this hand, and that four on the turn will seal it. Matt McEwen, great run, finishing in fourth place. He collects $40,500 for his efforts, 81 Darkman. points for PG. the PGT leaderboard for 2024. And we are down to the final three. Jeremy no Becker, no worries, no worries. Kislinski, I believe his name is Victor. All good. Sergey, sorry. Sergey Kislinski and Dylan Wiseman, who has 76% of all the chips in play three handed. <sighs> They're so s slippery. If I throw something, it's gonna fall. It is. I'm pretty sure. But that's why I'm hiding over here from you. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm, act I'm starting to fortify the bottom. I, I'm so not sure first it will help. World problems for Wiseman here, who <laughs> is concerned about the in structural integrity of his uh, chip stack. Build better, sir. <laughs> Build better. Wiseman raising it up with Ace Queen. <clears throat> Both of his opponents quick to let it go. I think that's yours. Uh, this is mine. Oh, yeah, sorry. And then we're coloring up, right, Alan? Yeah. You want to hand me your racks right now? Curious to see how many chips Dylan Wiseman will be left with after coloring up. Mm -hmm. You just keep it on the side. It doesn't matter <laughs> right now, right? Just don't use them. Yeah. I, they, they have to do it, actually, because someone might get an extra chip. 
Okay, yeah, makes sense. It really feels as though Kislinski is just waiting for heads up play to start. All in. Becker moves all in from the small blind. Nothing there for Wiseman. I'm not a sweater. They give you enough sweat on the, like once you're all in, so I'll just look pretty good. Can we request to just rip them out? No. On the all in? The, the suspense is important. You gotta give the people what they want. Dylan Wiseman understands the name of the game. A quick little color up there for the players. Guess what? Time travel. <laughs> If you're new to the stream, we start with a longer delay. We call it our dynamic delay, and this will prevent you guys from having to sit through a chip race or a break. And uh, that is a wonderful thing. Very happy to still be with you here. My name is Rem Korinkama. Donnie Peters alongside me, calling the action of event two Owen. of the PHC kickoff, the event three final table happening tomorrow. You can follow live reporting of that event on pgt.com. And look at that, Weissman's blue chips are gone. He has traded them, in, traded them in for some yellow chips. And his stack continues to grow as he is now up to 8.8 .8 million. Kislinski on 15 bigs, Becker on 10. Very, very dominant showing so far. Donnie, we need a, a time travel emoji in the chat. Can you facilitate that? I'll get on that. What about the, the Back to the Future car? The DeLorean? The DeLorean? Yeah, you could probably work something out. We do need uh, a graphics package for uh, for time travel in the future. I think that'd be funny. Owen. Wiseman Owen. continues pushing the envelope here. And his opponents are just not picking up anything worth playing. He's got them backed into a corner. Th I mean... Th this is a dream final table. Like, if you're a tournament player, this is exactly <laughs> what you dream about. You don't want it to be hard? You no, <laughs> I do not want it to be hard. I just want to show up. You just I want 90 big blinds? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> no one else has any? <laughs> give, give Weissman credit. He ran an enormous bluff yeah. with 6-5. And after that, everything has been going his way. So, you know, he's been on a tear. All in. How are you? Jeremy Becker finding Jack 10. Moves all it? in. Eight. Oh, Eight bigs for. this question. Becker, Wiseman, Queen 7. I believe Dan Harrington was the one calling it the computer hand during uh, the release of Harrington on Hold'em. This is the PLO Donnie, player part of our, what does the math say? Of our, <laughs> our programming, because I don't know if this is right or not. Always says call. I mean, it's close. One pip, two of pips higher, I call it. I guess if I'm so, I mean, you're not definitely sure. calling no, queen nine, like, to like you said. This. For sure. What was Perhaps it? Perhaps a bit of a no, tight lay down. But <laughs> <laughs> it's also one of those things where, you know, you Neither. don't always it, have it to. It doesn't change my I know I know, everyone's I know, always like, yeah, the chart says this, the chart says that. Yeah, you. Maybe at times you, you deviate a little bit, you know? I think I know that you're trying Dylan to be nice. Wiseman no, I'm just curious. That, you know, yeah, I know, he but I'm not has gonna, a really big I'm edge here, and, and okay. rightfully so. He's got a massive lead. He's playing well and, and running hot, you know? So if you're, in, if you're enjoying the Dylan Wiseman show, please hit that like button, there. subscribe to mm -hmm. our channel, turn on the notification bell. You there. That way you know a big hand, whenever I'm we go live action. next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we say for sure, dude, where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> Becker, King 9, offsuit. Could see a shove again here. 10 seconds. Oof. Lays it down. Results oriented, would have stepped in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wiseman just moves all in to put Kislinski at risk. 10-5 into the muck. Payouts available in the description of our YouTube video. Final three, guaranteed 56,000 to 250. 
Second place, 78,750, and first, 121,150. These are all 5K buy-ins to get the season going. Poco Cup, just a few weeks away at the end of January. Uh, belief, starting with a 5K as well. We'll do some 10s, some 15s, and then a 25 to uh, finish it off. Yes, sir. The 15K buy-in to me is always so funny. It's like a little small little ladder between Free the 10 and the 25. Don't see it very oh, often. This card is bad. I feel like I got it. <coughs> Becker gets a walk with the worst hand. Always good news. He's chugging on a boba. It'll be okay. Kaczynski, 12 bigs, Becker, 10 and a half. The haves <laughs> and the have-nots. Wiseman playing against two players, and Becker here, king six off. Could likely see a shove here again from the small blind. 10 seconds. All in. All in. Becker moves all in. <laughs> this is what I was going to say. I was going to call it, so I call. <laughs> <laughs> Wiseman gets exactly the hand he referred to one orbit ago and calls it off with queen nine. Jeremy Becker at right. risk with I king six. Good. And Fun fact here. Jeremy Becker already guaranteed Top. his largest career score, 56,000. But hey, a double up here could put nine. him in a great situation to make it to heads up play. Dylan Wiseman. Seemingly has not lost a, a consequential hand today at all. Can he come on top here again with queen nine? Eight, four, three on the flop. Wiseman looking for a queen or a nine to send Becker to the rail. So far, Becker in the lead with king high. <coughs> Turn card is an eight. Still safe for Becker. Wiseman looking for a queen or a nine. Becker doubling up here would change the dynamics pretty dramatically. River card is a queen. And the Dylan Wiseman hot streak continues at this final table. This man cannot lose while this man you're seeing on the screen right now will head towards the exit. Jeremy Becker, career best score of $56,250. But man, just one card away from a big double up here. And Sergei Kislinski, who started today as the chip leader, now heads up All right. with 12 big blinds now, versus now we play. 100 now big we, blinds. Now we get to play. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> I, actually, I actually lost heads up 11 to 1 oh, wow. one day. So I need to get it back some, somehow. So I, that's I why we're here. It, I hope it doesn't happen. That's why we're here. It's about 11 to 1. <laughs> it's about yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I was checking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not even, it's, it's, it's less. Good game to Jeremy Becker. As Sergei Kisl Kislinski secures at least second place here. Mm -hmm. Might be an all in right away here. There it is. Donnie, because Linsky can't even fold that. Oh, he's gonna get a, That's how a, a short he is. would be great, actually. It's like a Fiji. Can you get the period? No, I mean, these next, what, three to four hands? Because gonna need to just take a stand. You know, I mean, maybe that's him. Now it's 11 Finding one. something here, hmm? shopping from now the Now it's closer, yeah. closer to 11 to 1. Do you, play a lot, do you play a lot here in the US? No. No? Uh, you mean. Like, like, do you play a lot of live tournaments? Not, not, not really. No, I play cash. You, oh, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Kizinski pocket all fours in. on the button, moves all in. Wiseman ten three off, into the muck. By the way, though, I just oh, realized I own that same shoots. sweater Kizinski has. Oh yeah, it's very comfortable. I just saw the logo on his sleeve. Thank you. It's a perfect grinding sweater. 
has pockets with zippers. Pockets with zippers are one of the most important okay. things. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Kuzinski's still needing <laughs> at least a couple double ups to make this a real match. <clears throat> Wise is going to try to see a cheap flop, and Kislinski happily obliges here with just 6 3. King 5 3 on the flop. Two. Pair of fives best here. It's uh, tough for Kislinski to play multiple streets given how short he is. Even if he's a non believer, it's going to be tough. Does want to see the turn at least. Ace on the turn. No pre flop raising, so kings and aces of any variety perhaps a bit less likely, which is why the five and the three, even though they're small pairs, might be valued a, a little bit higher. 250. 250. Donnie, th a three just not strong enough given the stack depth. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. That ace is probably going to connect with Wiseman just to some extent. You know, he can limp some aces. Maybe he jams some as well. Maybe he limps some as well. Don't really think that ace connects with Kislinski, which allows Wiseman to just bet this here fa fairly comfortably. Kislinski does give it up. <coughs> the rich get richer. <laughs> if you're Dylan Wiseman, Kislinski now below 10 bigs. Gonna need a double and he's gonna need it soon, man. Last night's final table went all the way to the 100K, 200K level. <laughs> that seems uh, mm -hmm. highly unlikely at today's final oh. table. Kislinski moves all in with Jack it's 7, and there it is. Call. Dylan yeah, Wiseman call. calls with yeah. Ace Queen offsuit. Yeah, flip his hand up. And Don't make his hand. <laughs> one more favorable run out for Wiseman, and he'll walk away with one of the most dominant performances on the PGT that I've ever seen. First, he pulled off a massive bluff versus Kislinski and then won that massive hand against Jesse Lonas. Can he close it out? Jack in the window. That's going to give Kislinski the lead Simon, in this hand. Yeah, spicy, but spicy. Yeah. as we know, King. all fair but card, over. Seven. I think King is a fair card. I think seven is a fair card. <laughs> it's less fair than a King. <laughs> Ten would give him Broadway. <laughs> Two pair for Kozlinski. Yeah, Wiseman also rooting for a king here for some additional outs. All right. Oh, well. Now diamond. <laughs> diamond to chop? I mean, with the way he's been running, why not, right? <laughs> slap out the deuce of diamonds. Good. Take a chop. The you want the king. Diamond 10. I don't. You just the connected. Tournament? It's like 50 millisecond pin or something. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> Wiseman. Can he drill it? Chop it up. Deuce off diamonds on the river, and we chop it up. Uh, it's chop. It's chop. chop. It's a chop. Flush. Donnie, Flush on the as board. if oh, Wiseman, here, Wiseman here. wasn't winning Here's enough. He doesn't lose anything He's on this hand. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think he did lose 50K on that hand, though, because he was, <laughs> he was the big blind ante. <laughs> so uh, he actually took the worst of it there. All right, so we're back to where we started. Kislinski's still needing a bunch of double ups. Wiseman on the brink of closing this one out. King four off for Wiseman. Owen. 
Moves all in, applying maximum pressure. King three for Kislinski. Makes the call. Disaster. Oh, shit. For Kislinski. But Donnie, <laughs> back to back chops. Yeah, a lot, a lot of chop possibilities here. It's not the worst of it for Kislinski. This one feels like a chop, too. Uh, maybe. Feels like it. Dylan Wiseman. Should be usually. Yeah, usually is. Slightly ahead there with the four versus the three, but so many chop options in this showdown here. Or not. Oh my god, 4-4 four, four deuce. I mean, when, it, when it's your day, <laughs> it's your day. Very lucky flop. 3% <laughs> <laughs> for Kislinski. Dylan Wiseman two cards away from closing so this one out with the win. Nope. Nope. I, I, I bluffed. Mm -hmm. Quick verification mm -hmm. there on that was the, the only river bluff. I was bluffing on too. You got very unlucky. I was going to give up. Kislinski folded a pair of tens earlier versus Wiseman, which could have given him the chip lead. Turn GG. card now, nine of spades, and right. that will Good do it. Me. Dylan Wiseman takes down event oh, number oh. two of the 2024 we'll PGT Five, six, kickoff six, six, six. after an epic display at the final table. Not only did he make the right bluff, not only did he get lucky, do we want also Mike saw offer on right now, his Alan, good hands hold up. Mike Offer on. Sergei Kislinski right. takes home $78,750 for his second place finish. And Dylan Wiseman will take home $121,500. And more importantly, 243 points in the race for the top 40 of the PGT leaderboard. He just fell short of that top 40 this past season. So this must really give him a lot of motivation heading into all those months that are still to come in the race for the championship. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. It's been an honor and a pleasure. My name is Rem Korinka. My Donnie Peters was alongside me yet again for coverage of the PGT kickoff. Uh, join us again tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern for the final table of event number three. You can follow that event right now on PGT.com. For now, have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow for more poker action.